It's been a busy few days and actually over the last couple of days I've been really focusing on what's been happening at VidCon and I didn't know whether to mention it in a video because it's not the type of video I normally upload to the Geekinoids channel so I wrote a Facebook post and I'll talk to you about that in a short while. Also over the past few days I've been testing this a lot more, this is the GoPro Hero 5 Black and you'll see some video footage from this a lot more in my videos coming up very soon. But I have been experiencing trouble with the memory cards and perhaps they're not quite fast enough. So I've been trying this one just lately, this is the Toshiba Xeria Pro. Now Toshiba very kindly sent me out this particular one to test and I've used it for two days in my GoPro Hero 5 Black. It is super fast and I've had no problems with recording 4K video footage to it. So if and when I ever buy an additional card for the GoPro Hero 5 Black I'll definitely opt for one of these Toshiba ones. And for those of you who are eagle-eyed, you will have seen on my shelves just there, and I can never do this when I'm trying to point behind me, just there, my Apple Pencil on the shelves. And that will appear in a future video because I'm doing a test between the Apple Pencil and another stylus that's suitable for those of you who don't necessarily have the iPad Pro. Now I mentioned to you at the beginning of this video, I wanted to talk to you about something that had happened at VidCon, a bit of YouTube drama, which I don't normally talk about on the channel, but I do have an opinion to share on it, but I don't have an in-depth knowledge of the history of the people involved in this particular piece of drama. But I wanted to share it because I just thought it was very important. Now, the two creators that brought this to my attention are a couple of my favourite creators, Boogie2988, great guy, very, very genuine, love his uh, perspective on gaming. I just find it very, very entertaining. And also Philip DeFranco, which I just like the way he covers current events. Uh, a couple of really good creators and they were talking about VidCon 2017. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with VidCon it's like a convention or a conference that all of these mainstream YouTubers go to a lot bigger channels than myself but also actual fans go as well and they do meetups, they do uh, panels for discussions, it's just a really good event but there were quite a few things around this year's event that detracted from the fun factor now basically there was a panel which comprised of three other women and the fourth one was somebody called Anita Sarkazian. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And Anita does content regarding sort of women's rights. And this particular panel was talking about how women online are subjected to a lot of harassment, a lot of bullying, a lot of hate, etc. Which is, is very true, very, very valid topic to talk about. Uh, the one thing I wanted to add to this, and this is why I'm talking about it, is I know it's not on quite the same level, but even content creators in the technology sector, which is what my channel is about, are also subjected to harassment and bullying and trolls, etc. When you talk about something that has an opposing opinion to somebody else, uh, dare I say Apple versus Windows or Apple iOS versus Android, for example, not necessarily on the same level, but still relevant to the tech industry, then we're subject to sort of harassment and bullying as well. But this was about uh, how women are subjected to it. Now, within this panel, there's obviously the area where all of the other people sit to listen to and take part in the panel discussion. They open it up to like a Q&A session. And the first three rows, apparently this came to light afterwards, were actually occupied uh, by people that didn't necessarily have the same viewpoint as Anita and it's their right to attend the panel and to listen to the discussion but Anita got to a certain stage and she just flipped and she went on an attack on a single person and she really attacked him and said that he was a garbage human and even referred to him as a shithead so not a very pleasant sort of attack on this person now I watched some other videos afterwards and it came to sort of my attention that these front three rows had been strategically occupied by these people. Now I don't know whether that was to provoke some sort of response from Anita or whether they were just genuinely in the front three rows and didn't mean to sort of provoke that sort of response. Now my opinion is that she shouldn't have directly verbally attacked this person because that is a form of harassment and bullying. And in the same breath, uh, it was very strange that those front three rows were occupied by people that 
maybe might have commented negatively or unconstructively. I don't know, I don't know the facts, but maybe this had happened on her videos and that was why she felt very uncomfortable with who she was seeing in the audience. To a certain degree, I think it's part of it. You're gonna get people that don't agree with what you say. Uh, I don't get people that agree with what I say in my reviews all the time. Everyone's entitled to an opinion, but I think it should have stayed very professional and I don't think it should have resulted in that verbal attack. I think that was very wrong. And what we saw was a person sort of lose their focus and lose their control and make that attack. And I bet they regretted it afterwards. But I wanted to talk to you about it in my video because I want your opinion. On some of the videos I produce, I often see arguments happening in the comment section saying, well, this is wrong. You know, it's better than you're saying or this phone is better than this phone. And I think it's good when the comment section is very constructive. So constructive feedback, I give a big th thumbs up to. But when it's negative feedback, I find it very destructive. And I try to keep everything very, very positive on the channel. So I just wanted to throw this open to you guys and girls and just know if you have any more knowledge about the history of what happened and what led up to this happening at VidCon, whether you think it was right or wrong, I'll leave links down in the video description of some of the videos I watched about it. And I just think it's a very important subject matter to talk about. One thing I will say that I was quite surprised about with this particular panel was there were some very valid questions coming from the audience. Uh, one person actually said that, you know, why was the focus on uh, women receiving harassment and bullying and hate online when in fact men are also subject to that as well? And they brushed that aside straight away. I'm not sure why it was, why that question was rejected quite so quickly. I know the subject of the panel was women being harassed and bullied online, so it's a little bit off topic, but I still think it should have been warranted with an answer because that's the sort of question that opens up the conversation. And after all, isn't that what all these panels are about, is discussing things? So it would have been interesting just to hear their proper response on it rather than saying next. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. This just has to stop. I can't even look at you. I really can't even look at you. I'm disgusted at myself because my diet was going so, so well. And since both my kids are now left for uni, I find myself with a lot more time on my hands and junk food is a problem again. I've really got to stop. Now, I bought those Jaffa cakes because they're not too high in fat content, but it's not great if you want to eat a whole box in a day. That is not good at all. Now with Mobile World Congress just around the corner, and in fact a brand new smartphone was launched just the other day by another company, I've just done something really crazy. I've just ordered myself a new phone. Now this is not a replacement for my iPhone 7 Plus. It's not gonna be my daily driver, but I needed an additional smartphone for business use mainly, but also for something else. I've got another little side project I'm working on and I just placed the order. Now I have thrown a few little teasers in there, but do leave me some comments below and try and guess which smartphone I've just ordered. 